Back to School Month brought some of the biggest names in education to the city as part of the New York Times Schools for Tomorrow conference. There was a lot to talk about online learning, technology, and the role of universities. But when New York Times columnist David Leonhard sat down with Arnie Duncan, the Secretary of Education, the conversation moved to a subject that's been on our minds here, graduation rates. We'll have more about the PBS project, American Graduate Day, in just a moment. But here's an excerpt from the New York Times Schools for Tomorrow conference, one of our listening in segments. Are we making progress in terms of education? And again, I'm now in the broadest sense of things, meaning over the last decade, or pick a different time frame if you want it, is there, is there macro evidence, whether it's rising scores, rising high school graduation rates, that all this focus in recent years is paying some dividends? Um, it is paying dividends, but I want to just say again, we have to get better faster. So high school graduation rates are at three decades high, highs, that's huge. African American graduation rates are up significantly. Hispanic uh, graduation rates are up significantly. Dropout rates are down. Hispanic dropout rates have been cut in half, 50% reduction. Again, dropout factories, 700,000 child reduction there. So the progress is real, but I feel a huge sense of urgency. We are nowhere near where we need to go. And folks here know, if you drop out of high school today, you're basically condemned to poverty and social failure. When I was growing up in the south side of Chicago, that wasn't true. I had friends who dropped out, and you could get a job in the stockyards or steel mills and have a pretty good life and own your own home and support a family. Then not just our countries, the, the world's economy has changed education's been far too slow to change with it.